Step three in our five steps is to detect your label. This is to detect with a secondary, for instance, or an amplification technique and what controls to use. Secondary antibody usage is a very common technique. There's lots of review papers, again, out there. But how do you optimize it? This is where your unconjugated primary has been detected now with a secondary antibody that has dyes on it. Uh, you want to, again, go with a company that you trust, one that has good quality and a good quality control. Uh, they've validated it for these methods. Make sure your antibody is relatively new and within a stable period and stored properly. Very importantly, consider the host and target species. For instance, if you have a mouse primary, you want an anti-mouse secondary, and a host that uh, matches the serum that you're using, like for instance a donkey anti-mouse secondary. Now if you're combining with other primaries, for instance you have one rabbit primary and one mouse primary, you want to make sure that your anti-mouse secondary is cross-absorbed against rabbit, so it doesn't cross-label and label your rabbit primary too and vice versa, that your anti-rabbit is cross-absorbed against mouse, right? So you can usually look into the certificate of analysis for your antibody to know what it's cross-absorbed against or in the manual for that antibody, or just call us here at tech support. And then, do you want it to be dye-conjugated or biotinylated or enzyme-conjugated? We'll talk about amplifica amplification techniques in a moment. Realize that we have a web resource, too, that you can select an antibody at, at this URL.